Hey everyone, I'm Oviz Ahmed, co-founder and CEO at Pixel Space. Pixel Space is a space technology company that is building a constellation of some of the world's most advanced Earth imaging satellites to solve some of humanity's most pressing issues and help make life on Earth sustainably better. I started Pixel with my co-founder while I was still pursuing undergraduate studies at Pitts. And through this talk, I'll take you through the journey of what led to me starting Pixel, what the lessons I've learned in my way are, and why anyone could have done what we have done with Pixel. The journey starts with when I was a kid. I was always fascinated with the universe, the cosmos, the starry skies, anything related to space, so much so that I seriously pondered becoming an astronaut when I grew up. I used to force my father to buy me encyclopedias and books about space, to buy me binoculars and telescopes to look at the starry skies. And that passion for space has never died. Fast forwarding the journey, while I joined Bitsplani as a fresher, there were a couple of experiences I had while uh, in college that led to where I am today. The first opportunity that came along the way was being a part of the student satellite team at Bits that was working along with esteemed scientists at ISRO to build actual satellites and to go to space as part of ISRO's student satellite program. My studies took a back burner during this stint, but I didn't care. I was learning more at the team than I would have in the lecture class anyway. The second opportunity that came along the way was being a part of the Hyperloop India team. I ended up being a founding team member as well as the engineering lead of the only Indian team to be selected for the SpaceX Hyperloop pod competition, as well as being able to present this pod to Elon and the rest of the SpaceX team. This was the steepest learning curve I'd ever had in my life till then. We had to build a Hyperloop pod without expertise, mentorship, because there was no one who had done it before and without access to any materials on the internet, because again, no one had done this before. The biggest lesson that getting these two opportunities taught me was that if you're given a seat on the rocket ship, don't ask what seat, just get on. I didn't know what this would lead to while I was still pursuing those opportunities, but I knew that these are opportunities that I would not dare miss. But while we were in LA at the SpaceX competition, it was on a tour of the SpaceX factory. And that's when I had the Eureka moment. Looking at the rocket engines being built, looking at the Falcon booster that had landed back from space, I decided at that point in time that space was a space for me to be in and that I'd rather not open anything else. Came back from the competition, started reading up as much as I could about space and happened to stumble upon an opportunity that led to Pixel. And while reading about space, I happened to re-stumble upon this pick. This was a pick that was taken by the Voyager spacecraft as it was exiting the solar system. Take a look at it again. That tiny speck of dust suspended in light beam, that's Earth, that's you, that's me, that's every one of us that's ever lived. Some total of humanity right there in one picture. And humanity's greatest selfie. Looking at me made me realize how fragile we really are, how fragile our planet is and that we need to take care of it. But when you look around, you realize that that's not really happening with mass deforestation, hyperurbanization, dramatic climatic changes everywhere. We are not taking care of the one home that we know. And one thing that came to mind while reading up about space and looking at this picture was that space technology could help us see things happening anywhere in the world that would enable us to take steps to solve these issues. The first step was being able to see these changes occurring and happening and changing at daily scale. But that was not being made possible because the satellites that have traditionally been built have been the size of a room, they have been really, really expensive and they take years to build. For example, this satellite that you see here fell down when manufacturing. A $300 million satellite had repairs worth $100 million to be able to send it up to space and took years to get it up there. What's actually needed is to be able to send a flock of small tiny satellites that can cover the globe, provide us with the data at a daily cadence and being able to see how things are really changing on Earth's surface, what are the steps that we can take to make life on Earth sustainable, to make life on Earth better, to make life on Earth more efficient. And that's when the idea of Pixel germinated. We decided that we would build and deploy a constellation of ultra small, inexpensive satellites that would enable us to look anywhere on the planet at day scales 
and we will track these changes thereby enabling us or organizations to take better decisions that propel humanity forward make life on earth better the idea was fairly simple we built satellites that have a powerful unique camera in them that provide a powerful unique data set which lead to powerful insights that we can use to create changes on earth but how do we exactly do that we do that by building and deploying our own satellites by moving that data down to a network of ground stations around the world and by building a platform that enables anyone with basic computer knowledge to be able to set up a workflow that helps them extract insights from this data that's coming down from the satellites we started with obviously the designing of the satellite we got people together we started thinking from first principles as to what needs to go into a satellite there needs to be a radio there needs to be an onboard computer there needs to be a camera there needs to be solar panels and uh, we managed to come up with a few options and designs for what the satellite needed to look like the next step was freezing these is freezing this design and simulating the different situations that a satellite would go through in the harsh environments of space all on the computer that follows up with building and launching an engineering model of the satellite that would undergo actual hardware testing such as vibration shock thermal vacuum testing that enable it to go through the shocks and vibrations that the satellite would go through while launching on the rocket that the temperature fluctuations it needs to go through while it's in space and finally after all this is done we get a completely manufactured tested flight ready satellite that will go up on a rocket we have managed to get through this process once our first satellite is manufactured tested and almost ready for launch going up on february 28 2021 This is the second satellite that we are currently in the process of manufacturing that will go up in December of 2021. And that's another and that's another lesson that embarking on this journey with Pixel has taught me is that we need to dare to dream big. It's like that quote you hear where if you shoot to the moon and even if you miss you'll land among the stars. A lot of people on this journey told us that what we were doing was not possible that we were just a bunch of college students that was doing it as a side project that it would not last. that we would not be able to raise money that would not be able to build a satellite but we didn't pay heed to any of that and that's because there was this one quote from president theodore roosevelt that has kept us going it's the quote that's called the man in the arena it is not the critic who counts not the one who points out the strong man who stumbles not the doer of deeds who might have done better the credit belongs to one man and one man alone the man in the arena so it doesn't matter what others say it doesn't matter what others think find what you love go do it what matters is what you do in the arena find what you love drown out the noise and do what you love thank you and uh, hope you had fun listening